Hi everyone, I just wanted to take you through some of my favorite foam roller release and stretch exercises. This is such a versatile piece of kit. It's one that if you have something at home, if you have one piece at home, I always say get a foam roller. They don't take up a lot of room. This is a 90 centimeter one. You definitely need one this long, especially for some of the lying down exercises on it. So we're gonna focus really on releasing through our upper spine. It can get really tight. And I'm also gonna show you just some IT band releases as well. So take the foam roller width ways across your mat. And then just place it at a point where it's just below the shoulder blade. Feet can be a little bit further away from you than you might normally, and you can adjust as you go. Interlace the fingers, take the hands behind the head, and just let the head be really heavy and supported here. Lift the bum up, and then you're going to just press your feet so that you can roll forwards and back. You want to focus on rolling more over the rib cage than really below the rib cage. There's a lot of organs there. It just feels so nice to roll. What I want you to think is, as you roll away from the roller, Think about the sitting bones reaching long. You're almost like getting a deep squat type feeling, a nice hip fold. That's it. Now, from here, just let one side of your pelvis just be a little heavier, a little lower than the other. And then continue rolling through there. Whoa, you can feel that through one side of your body, one side of the spine, one side around the shoulders, and then come back to center, drop through the other side. You'll see I'm just moving my feet as I go just to feel comfortable, sort of notice where I want to get into some tissue, like I'm noticing right under towards the armpit, it's tight on the side, so can I just encourage myself to get there? You'll find that your body starts just taking you on a bit of a journey. And then back to centre. And you can spend a bit longer on this if you want. I just want to show you a little quick few tips here. Nice. Coming back to centre. Just put your base of your head onto the roller here now. And just gently nod the head. And then going back and over. So you can just roll the head over the shape of the roller just to release any tension there. Keep the jaw easy, the chest heavy. Nice, and then come to center. Okay, take your roller now lengthways on your mat. This is why you need a long one. Sitting at one end, I want you to just roll yourself down. Now, if you feel like your head is miles behind you, you might feel comfortable with just a fold-up towel or something just to place under here. You want to feel like your ribs and your head are kind of in alignment. Okay, I'm not too far out. So I'm going to stay like this. And what I love to do on the roller is, first of all, just lie on it. Like, honestly, you can just lie on it like this at home. Take your arms out wide if you want to. It just helps all the front of you just open. So we tend to be in a slouch position for most of us, and the front of us just gets a bit narrow and short. So this just, without doing anything. So I know loads of you just love doing this at home, and I highly recommend it. My other favorite thing to do, if I've just got a couple of minutes, is just to do some bridging on the roller. So arms just come down by your side. Just think about gently pressing the breastbone back into the roller. And notice how that starts to pick up the pelvis. And there's a feeling like you could pull your feet in towards you and that that would lengthen the pelvis up. Stand down to your feet, feel the front of the hips open, the sitting bones reaching long. Nice breath in here. On your exhale, feel your breastbone dropping away from your chin. Your thoracic spine is gonna come down onto that roller and just enjoy the massage that it gives you here. Releasing through, nice. Inhale and exhale, press the feet away. Feel the breastbone dropping into the roller. Lengthen out through the back of you. Remember, you don't need to actively think about engaging anything, pulling anything in. If you're in a good position, your body is working just as it needs to. Breath in on your exhale. Feel like this movement comes from the back of your throat. So the back of your throat could be easy and soft. 
all the way down and release. Next time, as you go, if you want to, you could just let your arms go overhead. When you get to the top, just really reach the arms out of the body. Let the shoulder blades come up. Feel all the tissue through the side of the body just lengthen. Exhale, breastbone drops down and allowing the arms to come up when they need to. One more time. Maybe when you're here, you could just reach one arm longer and the other arm longer. You're going to wobble a little bit on your roller, so just go easy. And then exhale, coming all the way down. Roll onto your side. Roll the roller away. Oh, that's why we all do this, isn't it? This feeling here. You feel like you're sinking in towards the floor. Maybe strengthen your legs. Straighten your legs into C. Oh, how does that feel? Roll onto the side now. Push yourself up. And then let's have a little look at using the roller for some IT band release. So the IT band is, uh, it's not a separate thing. It's part of the tissue of your leg, but on the outside of the leg, it's got thicker. As we've come up to be biped animals, this has had to get thicker because of the force put through that tissue. And it does tend to get a little bit tight, especially if you run. But if you roll on it sort of forwards and back, so in this direction, in like my leggings here, um, you're kind of missing the point because the fibers in the tissue are on an angle. So they run diagonally. They kind of run from the glutes around. So they wrap around like that. So if you roll up and down, it's going to hurt. You're going to feel quite nice afterwards, but you're not fundamentally lengthening those fibers. We want to encourage those fibers to have space and to be able to move over each other. So you can roll, but you want to feel like you can do it on an angle. So I'm going to take the roller um, on a bit of an angle. I'm going to take the top foot over, foot is flat. This is what takes the weight off. If this is really painful, you want lots of weight in this top leg, okay? My hands can just be wherever feels comfortable for me. I tend to reach my arm out. And then this top foot is what pushes me forward and back. And I want to just roll on an angle. I also find it really helpful. It kind of feels really natural to me that as I roll, my leg kind of, rolls, it sort of externally rotates, and then internally rotates. You might be able to see it with the foot. You'll be able to see it a bit better on the other side when we do it. I'm going to then move myself so that I can get all the way down to my knee. Oh, I certainly haven't done this in a while. It feels really nice. It wants to have that sense of pain leaving the body. Yeah? If, it's, if it's horrendous, don't fight the body. Tissue will only give from a place of relaxation. Okay, So if you're fighting, it's like this is really making you grimace, then you need to go easier, okay? Now, if you find any really sore bits, put some weight on it, and then just roll back and forth, little small rolls here. This is called shearing. So you kind of press, and then you shear, and then add a couple of long rolls in. I'm kind of noticing it's wanting to take me towards my glute a little bit, because the IT band connects into there fascially. So I can just kind of roll back a little bit, stay up there. Might want to roll on my front a little bit, pick it more onto the quad. Like, let the body direct you. Just explore and see how that feels. And then when you come off, oh, just notice how that feels. Take it to the other side again. Try and get yourself into a position where you can be on an angle. One leg might feel very different to the other leg. So just start by exploring. Oh, it's very different on this side for me. I'm finding a nice sore spot here. So I'm just going to gently have enough pressure on it that it feels like it's releasing, using this leg to manage how much pressure is on the roller. And again, allowing that bottom leg that's on the roller to feel like it can roll in the hip a little bit. That just feels really nice for me. And then going out longer here. Maybe taking it slightly onto the quad if you want to. Taking it back onto oh, the glutes. So any imbalances you've got in your pelvis, it's really going to be reflected down here as well. And then just coming off. 
And there are a few of my favourite foam roller release exercises. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching one of our videos. Please do subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more from Soul Pilates. And remember, if you would like to attend one of our full-length virtual classes live, you can do that by booking at mysoul.studio. See you then. Bye.